Hi there, my name is Simon and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how to withdraw cryptocurrency from the Kraken exchange. I'm going to show you everything on my computer so you can easily follow along with this video. So let's not waste any time and get started right away. To withdraw your cryptocurrency again you have to go to funding right here. And then uh, this is the same screen that we have seen before when we have funded our account using fiat currency. So right now we want to, let's say we want to withdraw Bitcoin. So um, you can go to your account balances, go down to crypto assets. And then let's say we want to withdraw our Bitcoin. So we're going to click on withdraw right here. And then you want to make sure to read this right here. And then we have to select a, a Bitcoin address that we want to send our Bitcoin to. So here you probably don't already have addresses set up. So what you have to do is click on add address right here. You have to give your address a description. So let's say this is my cold wallet, which uh, cold wallet is just a hardware wallet that is not connected to any server or something. So um, let's say cold wallet and the Bitcoin address. Um, here I have to type in the Bitcoin address. So when you set up your wallet, you will get a specific address um, and this is the address that you have to paste in here. And the address will look something like this right here. Now, don't use this one that you see right now. You will have a different address. If you will send money to, if you will send coins to this address, then I will be very happy because that's my personal address. But you want to make sure that you'll put your own um, specific um, wallet address or address of your other exchange that you want to send your cryptocurrency to in here. And then click on save address. And I already have a couple of addresses right in here. And then once you uh, have set it up, maybe you have to confirm it also with your email or with your two-factor authentication. And then once you've set it up, you can go back to the screen, reload the page right here. And then you should be able to send it to this specific wallet. So I have um, these ones right here set up. So let's say I want to send it to another exchange, which is Binance. I would use this specific code. Um, type in the amount I want to send. So let's say I want to send 0 0.1 Bitcoin. Uh, and then uh, you'll see the fee you'll have to pay here. And then I'm going to click on review withdrawal. And here again, you can see exactly what will happen. So I will be sending it to this specific address. This will be the amount I'm sending. This will actually be the amount I'm receiving because I have to pay this fee to uh, the people who have to confirm the transaction. And then when I click on confirm withdrawal, then it takes uh, a little bit until my, um, until my uh, transfer is through. Sometimes it takes longer, sometimes it takes not so long. So usually it takes like 10 minutes, but if there's a lot of transactions, then it might take longer. So um, once you have set up your, um, once you have set up this transfer, then you can go back to funding right here and you can scroll all the way down to funding transactions and you can go to the ID right here and then uh, you can go to more info here where it says ID block explorer and then it will take you to another website which is tracking the Bitcoin transfers and you can see how many confirmations this transfer has. So this is a transfer I did I think earlier today and it already has like 34 confirmations. And for example, I think for Coinbase, it takes like three confirmations until the cryptocurrency will arrive. And for other platforms or wallets, it will take a different amount of confirmations. But here you can basically see the, the progress of your uh, transaction, because I know that when you are uh, kind of uh, transferring cryptocurrency for the first time and you don't see anything happening then you might freak out and you think that your cryptocurrency is lost which never happened to me just make sure that you're you actually type in the correct address uh, in your uh, in your field on kraken this was actually a segment from my complete Kraken tutorial that is also available here on YouTube. So if you're a complete beginner to the Kraken platform, you can also watch my complete tutorial that you'll find down below in the video description. If you find this video helpful, make sure to click that thumbs up button down below and leave me a comment if you have any questions. Also, if you want to see more videos just like this one, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And with that being said, thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.